All right, we're here with Dr. Pomerantz of MRI Online breaking down the Matthew Stafford injury. And, Doc, this was a big surprise. Sunday morning, Matthew Stafford declared out for the Lions game. Was this a pre-existing injury? How long has he had this? What was actually going on with Stafford and his back? Well, it's hard for me to know how long he's had this, but uh, when they talk about a back fracture, they're usually referring to a specific kind of fracture because, you know, your your back is made up of building blocks, you know, kind of like the blocks you play with when you were a kid, and those are called vertebra. Uh, there's no way those are fractured because if they were, uh, he wouldn't be playing, he wouldn't have played. Uh, you know, that's, a, that's a, a rather serious injury that also restricts your capabilities. On the other hand, there are some back fractures that occur where you can function against pain. So it's basically a fight, you against the pain. And um, one of those fractures is called a transverse process fracture. So off your back, coming out to the side are these little bones called the transverse processes. And when you fracture them, they are extremely painful. Now, sometimes the fragments can actually displace a bit and you know your kidneys are right there by your back so you've got to be a little bit careful when you've got bone fractures and bone shards and fragments near those kidneys so my guess is it was a fight between his ability to function in pain um, and and this uh, fracture versus his desire to play um, a little higher up in the back in the thoracic region uh, in other words closer to the chest region, the ribs articulate back there. Most people don't realize that. It's called the costovertebral junction, a real fancy word. But what that means is the ribs attach back there. And you can also displace those. That is uber painful, super painful, very difficult to deal with, and sometimes can really impair function. So I suspect that is what he's dealing with. Um, and this is a pretty tough guy. Yeah, 136 consecutive starts for Stafford. That, w that streak was broken on Sunday. So if it's pain management and if it is what you suspect, is this something that is going to take multiple weeks? Is it a long-term type of injury? Or are we just talking about a, a one-week type of injuries? What, could, what can Lions fans expect here going forward? Well, this is one, you know, usually I, I, I prognosticate, uh, you know, for a living for you guys. And, uh, you know, that's a lot of fun and very interesting. And I'm, I'm usually able to do a decent job of it. I don't have a lot of information in this particular case. But if this is the kind of injury that he, that he has, uh, the recovery time is pretty variable. It depends on, you know, how quick the pain goes away. But on the average, you're talking about two or three weeks for the pain to subside enough so that the player can function at the level to which they're accustomed. And I suspect that's the case here. All right, so there you have it. It's a great breakdown by Dr. Pomerantz of MRI Online, all about the Matthew Stafford back injury.